Hi everybody, this is Randy Suits with uh, a letter for 20 January. There are such things. Whatever happened to the agape love that the Apostle St. <coughs> Paul taught about, preached and encouraged to the first century Christians? It is not promulgated in our education system. In our materialistic society, it is questionable whether such topics would generate profits, thereby discouraging publishers from bringing those subjects to bookstores. Even modern churches have compromised dogma and godly principles to fill the pews and increase tithes and offerings choosing instead to tickle the ears of the membership with good music and pleasantries. The power and purity of the church is being weighed at the present time in the balance and found wanting. One might think from the great majority of worldly evidence that there are no such things as godliness holiness, purity, absolute truth that is not slanted to the satisfaction of the hearer and the fear of God. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Let me share my concern for our world as it spiritually spins out of control. Man has become his own God by substituting his traditions additions, and subtractions to the Word of God. Many of our most successful churches have grown to two or 3,000 per service by replacing the rigid, unwavering, powerful truth of Christ with a watered-down form of Christianity light. Where is the power of that first century church? God has not changed. What of the evangelism resultant of such an infilling of the Holy Spirit that it wouldn't and couldn't be restrained? It set fire to Satan's realm that his world system could not extinguish. The evil world system can contain a few big fires, but it is powerless against the flash fires of zealous Christians aflame with the freedom of a new relationship with God in Christ that once and for all frees man to be the creature God the Father intended before the fall from grace in the Garden of Eden. This power and purity is returning to earth with the second coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Once again, he will fill the captives and restore us to our rightful place in him. He will dethrone Satan, the supplanter, and remove forever the curse of sin, suffering, and death. Will the church receive Christ when he returns in his chosen? To the modern church judgment will not be postponed. It was appointed for Christ to die once, but the second coming brings the final judgment and the restoration of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, and the spiritual sons of God. Because in spirit there is no gender, male or female. Though the rebellion of Adam and Eve, then the rebellion of Adam and Eve, the holy principles, laws, motives, truths, mysteries, power, and love of the all-knowing, all-seeing God, will remove and stamp out all evil and rebellion and restore man to his God-given dominion. He shall one day be victorious when the last enemy, death, is destroyed. We shall rejoice in the Most High God because there are such things ordained and promised by the great I Am. May God open our understanding to all knowledge and truth. Kohane. These are the things that we, we yearn for, aren't they? The second coming of our Lord. 
And there are such things, Scripture tells us, and we've seen it in the saints that have walked before us. And, um, uh, and we long for the full coming and presence of our Lord in our lives. And now we're going to do a good song here called He Touched Me. Shackled by a heavy burden Neath the load of guilt and shame Then the hand of Jesus touched me And now I am no longer the same touched me oh he touched me and oh the joy that floods my soul something happened and now Since I met this blessed Savior, since he cleansed and made me whole, I will never doubt his praises. I'll shout them while he turns. touched me oh he touched me and oh the blood joy that floods my soul something happened and now I know he touched me and Something happened, and now I know he touched me and made me whole. Amen. He touched me. And he continues to walk with me and talk with me. You see, that's the best part. Uh, he stays with us, and uh, we need to stay with him morning, day, and night. We should be in perpetual prayer and perpetual thought toward his word and his love. The love of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you now and forever. And now may the Lord, even the Most High God, be with you in all that you think, say, do, and are. And God willing, we'll see you again soon.